So I'm going to use um, another transformation mechanism to convert a circle into a specific um, fourth order curve. Um, let me show you the transformation mechanism. Um, it, such a mechanism is um, takes a um, it's two degree freedom mechanism which uh, will convert a point to some transformation of that point. And so this mechanism uh, starts with a, um, well, I'll take a line segment starting at the uh, at the origin, and then we'll take a, a subsidiary line parallel to the y-axis. And we'll specify both parallel and its location by distance there. And now we have um, using sliders of the capable of having line coming sideways um, from this point and vertically um, to that point. So let's um, constrain these. So this is constrained to be perpendicular to the y-axis and this one's constrained to be uh, perpendicular to that. And so now um, what we're going to have is the input will be um, this point here. So let's call that, um, now let's call it x, y. And the output will be uh, point D. And so we can have a look and see what the coordinates of point D are. Okay, it's going to be A and the X coordinates are the same, as we can see there. And the Y coordinate is A times the Y divided by X. So, um, one uh, way of uh, controlling B is instead of uh, specify its coordinates, um, but we can drive B in some curve. Uh, so the, the book starts with this particular curve. We join B up to some subsidiary, subsidiary point E with a fixed length. And so we'll call that length R. And we'll give the distance from A to E, uh, call that B. And so now uh, B, of course, follows uh, a circle. As, uh, we have not put our theta in here, have we? Then let this um, go. Um, going to give this an angle of theta, and let's d um, uh, follow theta around. Um, there's the curve we get for d. If we want the curve for b, that looks like this. Of course, it's a circle. Let me change its color, keep it distinct from uh, the, the curve we've generated. And um, let's have a look at the equation of that curve. Well, first of all, let's do the equation of the circle. Uh, it looks like that. And now let's have a look at the equation of our red curve here. Uh, 
um, looks like that. Now, um, there is an interesting case where if we make b equal to zero, um, and let me just take a look at that. So we'll get rid of this, this curve. Um, we're going to get rid of this line here. And this, what we're going to do is drive. Yep. Um, make B go around the origin here. We've got phi as our parameter. We'll give uh, distance R here. And now um, we can look at the uh, curve uh, traced out by D as phi varies. And there we get that. That curve, we can look at the curve of B. Um, uh, draws a circle clearly. Now let's change its color. So there's a, there's the simplified case, and let's take a look at the equation. So uh, simplified equation there, and uh, um, the book tells us that this would be um, the conchoid of Coke. 